everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. So I'm here with my stash busting series. I think it's week, yeah, week 28, I think. I think. I've lost track. Anyway, I'll make sure it's right in the description. So I'm playing again with my mini gold cards, as I call them. And I've gone through my, that's my bone folder. Down here. Feel it, just got to get it. <laughs> somewhere I'm sure it is ah, there. it keeps slipping back down in its little pocket um yes yeah, so I'm just using up that gold Mary card again and I went through um one of my hunky dory kits and it was like a what I call a sort of kiddies theme I have used some like for adults as well um but yeah, it was a, definitely a younger theme. So I went through and I've gone through all the, like the scrap bits of card and stuff because I'm really trying to keep on top of using older stash up before I go into new stash. And this is also going to be number 28 off my 100 thing challenge. So yeah, I've just cut the card down to sort of go on there and I've got out some metal embellishments um wooden ones ow oh, what this and there was pretty sharp no I don't think I've cut myself no. it's only on paper and I've also got my box of um handmade flowers either I've done or been given and other flowers so this is just like my flower box to add to it and these little cards are the ones I hand out for um, happy mail or little thank yous and I know both the Allisons have told me off a bit for sending them back little thank you gifts but what they did for me I really did want to send a little thank you back um, so yeah if anybody ever sends me anything I do try either to send um, a little card and something because obviously I haven't got tons of money but um I was always brought up that you said thank you for something so um yeah I do like to say say my thank yous um <laughs> yeah you know I might be 40 but I still got enough respect that how my parents um brought me up oh, crumbs my brain is going today I only had um I didn't get off to sleep until about three o'clock this morning so I'm really trousy but I wanted to come on and do a video and unwind a bit and take my mind off things I mean things are good things are as good as they get for me so I'm really pleased with that um yeah so my medical pretty much a lot of my medical stuff is I think that sorted but also I couldn't sleep last night because I knew there was um something else going I had something else that needed to be sorted let's find a little bit of metal embellishment sorry it's going to be a bit noisy where I okay, let's have that handmade one um I'm not going to put brads through that because I actually haven't got that many brads so I'm not going to oh crumbs my brain sorry I'm really struggling the lack of sleep's definitely um getting to me yeah, um, let's put that back over there. Yeah, so I didn't get much sleep because I was thinking about different things. And I kept thinking, I know there's something else that Mum and I are trying to sort out. Well, there's a couple of things. And eventually I woke up this morning and I was like, oh yeah, it's um, to speak to BT because oh, just having a, not a nightmare with them again, but the contract went a bit funny because I didn't realise it was a year. I thought it was, you know, just a rollover sort of thing. And, yeah, so not quite what I wanted, really, but never mind. Um, with You know, the contract's just been a... I don't think I'll put anything else in that one. Yeah, getting the contract sorted. Because, like I said, I thought it just rolled over. I thought it was a two-year contract, but it wasn't. It was only only a year and they didn't tell me so they upped upped like my price and I was like that's a bit off so I gave all the statements to mum because I'm not very good at things like I can do it but 
um, I think with being dyslexic it's a little bit more difficult. So anyway, I always like to give it to mum just to make sure that I'm understanding stuff. And even she's a bit puzzled by it, so she keeps, bless her, trying to phone them and get through. But when she tried yesterday, she was 18th in line and she was like, I'm not going to wait that long. You know, especially as it's not a free call. Um, I might go that way on this one. Yeah, so having fun with them again is really not great. And then that's the topper for this one. Yeah, so they're just leftover bits um, from stuff. Just trying to find some. Ah, yes. Is that going to be too big? Oh, no, that's quite nice. Um, I might just ink around the edge on that one, I think. Have I got a yellow? Yes, I've got a yellow. Um, no, I haven't. I'm really running low on my um, Pro Marker colours. Let's use a light green instead. Um, not, yeah, so had a real fun battle with them. I apologise if my chat's going off or I go quiet. I just need some sleep. I don't want to sleep during the day because then I, you know, like have a power nap because I know that's going to affect my sleep for tonight. But never mind. Hey ho, I should be used to it by now. I haven't slept properly for donkey years. Um... Yeah, so the BT thing, hopefully mum can get that sorted. Um, like I said, all the medical stuff is getting sorted. I've got like all the appointments and have been put on the list if there's any cancellations because some of them I've been waiting for for ages. Um, so it'd be good to get sorted. So really, um, really sort of got some nice things planned so I don't really want the hospital appointments bodging it up if they do they do there's nothing nothing I can do about it so I've just gone round the flower with the spectrum you are and it's a D D D G two that's not easy to say I might just add a bit more colour to that just sort of you know roughly flipped the pen on there just to give a little bit of colour I think this is a flower I had in Happy Mouse. I don't remember buying any green flowers myself. Yeah, so hopefully, just really hoping next year is going to be a good year. Well, one way or another, I'm determined to make it a good year because this year has been a little bit, a little bit poo, or a little bit pants. Um, and I've kept some of my New Year's resolutions, so I'm quite pleased with that. I don't didn't really say what. Um, I did, but it was, one was to use up quite a bit of my stash without buying new stuff. And I've been fairly good with that. I know I brought that Christmas kit, but that Christmas kit's going to last me ages because I've still got tons in the drawers. Um, yeah, so things are good, you know. I'm actually really glad. I'm, even though I didn't sleep well, thing I'm just feeling more positive about things. I think now things have finally clicked into place. I'm now feeling a lot better. And when I saw the counsellor, Denise, and she gave me all that help, I've just got better at now how to deal with things. I don't, I mean, I still stress because that's just me. Um, but I've just found different ways to deal with it, either journaling about it or not feeling bad if I pick up the phone to a friend and go, well, actually, I'm really struggling a bit today, you know. Because um, I know everybody struggles. Um, yeah, so things things are perking up a bit, which is good. All I need now is a nice young man. <laughs> Don't mind a toy boy. <laughs> Done the older men and they're fine. But yeah, maybe I need to give a toy boy a go. Oh, my God, I don't know why I said that. Oh, God. Oh, I knew, I knew lack of sleep was affecting me. Now, do I put that slightly over it? Because obviously these are cards I post, so I don't want them too bulky. I quite like that. The frame, frame over that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. A lot of these wooden embellishments have um, come from kits or things I've brought. I'm going to change the colour of that. So let me just get my scrappy pad. I mean, I'm loving the colours that are coming on that. It's amazing how us women get happy about some painty, inky paper. 
easily pleased. I don't need jewellery. Give me some painted paper. <laughs> Give me some painted paper and stuff. I mean, jewellery's nice, but you know. <laughs> way to my heart is, yeah, crafty stuff. Actually, no, the way to my heart is just making me laugh and being really kind and um, a friend as well. <laughs> Right, I need a bit more pink in that. It's a bit too pale for what I'm wanting. Let's try this, adding this in. Oh, that's a bit better. So yeah, I used a pro marker and now I've got the Spectrum Noir Colorista and just sort of going over the top of what I've just done. Done? Did? Oh, I don't know. Grammar was never my strong point of school. Much preferred maths. Yeah, loved maths at school. Maths and what else? Well, I liked my ceramics. I liked the arty stuff, obviously. Um, couldn't do much PE and stuff due to like my health. Um, like in the winter, I couldn't do it too much, which was fine. Cause I'm not a coldy. I prefer I prefer the warmth. The only time I really like snow is when it's Christmas, you know. <laughs> um, no, I like snow, I love snow. I love all our seasons. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't do much games at school, but I did love rounders and I loved softball. That was so much fun because it was like against the teachers and stuff. It was a real fun event. So I need some wet glue for that. Where's my wet glue? Oh, let's use this. Let's try the cosmic the glossy accents and see if that will stick it. Um, yeah, so those are my favourite sort of um, things at school. Um, yeah, it was good fun and yeah, the um, softball was so much fun to play at school because like I said, it was against the teachers. Oh, it was just so much fun. And we also did, I can't, can't remember what the name of it was. It might have been Bulldog or something like that. Is um sorry my glue's got stuck so I'm just on them um, clogging it. Yeah, um we stood on can you stand on benches? Yeah, we had benches at the back. So if you got um knocked out then you had to go and stand on the bench, you were sort of out. But yeah, you sort of threw a very soft pool at each other and if you got hit by it you had to go and stand on the bench I'm sure it was called like bulldog or something like that but anyway it's really good fun um yeah so those were um, a good fun thing at school didn't overly love school because I did get bullied a bit but most there are some things that I did enjoy it wasn't all bad I think what didn't help was um the girls were quite catty about it, whereas I've probably said before, boys, like, if they fall out with somebody, they just sort of have a bit of an argument and then they go and play football or a sport and it seems to be okay again. But, you know, girls are horrid. I'm not saying I'm a saint, saint because I know I'm not, but, you know, I wouldn't overly go out of my way to be unpleasant to someone. So, yeah, quite like the frame on that. Right, let's have a look at this one. And I th I'm sure it was Angie that asked me how I do my candles. So I do promise I will be doing that video today. Uh, it's Thursday the 17th of August. Because I do try to say what date um, in my videos. I know I don't always... Oh, God, it's brain. Getting gear, love. Um... Nine times out of ten, my videos will get uploaded the same day. There are times when it doesn't, for whatever reason, something goes a bit to pot. So, yeah, those were the inside bits of those frames. I don't think there were purpley ones, because Gorgeous Girl are normally um, darker colours. Oh, I could use that one. So like I've got that beige one. So I might just put that there. Put that there. And then I think I've got some um, 
purpley flowers somewhere. Let's use high tap tape on that. Yeah, I think I've got some purple flowers so I can add them. But this high tap tape is great. So good at sticking. You know once it's this is down, it's not going to come up very easily. But a friend did teach me a tip. If you do stick something down and it doesn't quite work out, then you can use your heat gun if you've got one to get it off that way. Let's just pop that. Oops, can't do that straight. Luckily, because I didn't pop that down too much, it hadn't stuck. But yeah, see, I've put that down now, and I would really have to pull that off hard to get that off. Right, foam tape. So thanks again for all the lovely comments and the support for my channel. I do really appreciate it. I think I've got some new subscribers, so I can't remember their names, so I apologise. Um, but if you've joined my channel recently, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I think I've got 300 and something subscribers, so thank you. I'm amazed. Somebody wants to hear me yap. So these little flowers were given to me a while back in some happy mail. Come here. Ah, I knew I had a purple one. I think just the one on that. Right, glue dot now. All these different glues. <laughs> trying to work out which one's best to glue something down. I don't know how that, I know like when you first start out crafting you've just got the one glue but I don't know how I used to craft like that. Now it's like what need the glue for that? So I've got that one. I will show you them all at the end. So um yes, yeah, so I'm slowly using up all this gold card, which I'm really pleased about. It's something that I probably would buy again, but it wouldn't be something I rush to. I mean it's it's great card stock, but the sizing's not very practical to mat every layer because it's a little bit bigger than A6 um, but it's not the greatest um, like for matting something bigger so um, yeah probably not the best size I first got but never mind right. let's use up some more of this tape not tape phone yeah, so um, as I was saying, thanks to the new subscribers. I'm chuffed, I just can't believe it. Um, I certainly couldn't do the daily vlog thing that people do because I don't really ha have that much to say. I know I yak away in these, but my days are pretty much the same unless it's going to the hospital or... Yeah, they're not overly... Exciting. <laughs> right. Now, I've got a butterfly, but it's way too big. Yeah, that's way too big for that. What have I got? Ah, I got a little handmade with love. I know I've used gold, but I think I can get away with it. It's my card. <laughs> I can get away with it. <laughs> no, it says you can't have silver and gold together. Yes, yeah, so it's a little handmade. Um, handmade. No, it's not. It's made with love embellishment i can't remember who gave it to me so whoever did thank you so i'm on the last last card let me move all this out of the way otherwise you won't see a thing right. so i'm quite pleased that i've used up a load of scraps in my card i've still got a few of these toppers left but i can use them in other projects like when I do the pick 10 or sometimes I see somebody do something like let's make mess she does really fun projects and I think oh yeah I fancy giving that a go so they won't get wasted or eventually they might go into a swap or a flowish journal if I can get the word out so I've got that right let's use another flower have I got a yellowy flower no but I've got that nice orange one So let's pop that there. 
I'm pretty sure this was from Ali Cousins. I'm pretty sure I think it was. It might have been from the other Ali. Or it could have been from somebody else. Sorry. But whoever gave it to me, thank you. I do appreciate it. Normally I can remember certain things, but some things I just really can't remember who gave it to me. And I feel really bad about that. But um, I do appreciate it. So thank you. It's always nice having crafty goodies. I think one of the hints that I dropped for my birthday won't be happening because it's um, not the cheapest of things, but never mind. Because um, I've got, and it's something I need to test and see myself because I've got the electric machine, the e set, and I really like it, but the plates are a bit heavy. And sometimes it just plays up a bit. I've probably mentioned this before, so... Um, Um, yeah, so I'm dithering what machine to replace it with, or maybe replace it with a manual machine and then have a smaller manual machine. Like I said, I'm dithering a bit now. I'm just going to go over that with an orange, just so it pops a little bit more. And then I will add a pearl in the middle, if I've got any left. So I've been using my pearls quite a bit at the moment, so I'm um, running low. So I'm, uh, rest of my week, today's Thursday, it's going to be quiet. Sunday, I've got something on with the car club that my parents organised, so that's going to be really good. Monday's a very busy day. Uh, um, it's a mixture of nice and not so nice, so... Um, but either way, it'll be okay. It's only my blood test, so it's nothing drastic. And then Monday we're having a bit of a family time here. So yeah, it's going to be good. Right, so those are all the cards. So we've got this little one, my orangey one. A little pinky one with the heart. And then we've got that one. So then I've got the fun of making envelopes for them, which I can um, also add to the 100 thing challenge. That one with the frame, then my handmade one, and my greeny flower one. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.